Recently, BBC's Jeremy Paxman interviewed actor and comedian Russell Brand. Since many in the Liberty Movement have been expressing how impressed they were with the way Brand handled himself during the Paxman interview, One Truth for Life reviewed the BBC video which was being so fervently hailed as a shining example of taking a huge step toward awakening the masses who still sleep in their statist-induced comas. While there's no doubt that Brand possesses and displays charm, wit, and intelligence, these traits alone can't alter our current predicament nor have they changed the fundamental problems of the past. In fact, charming, witty, and charismatic criminals in government have used their talents to mask their psychopathic natures while they march the masses who follow them toward the cliff of economic and physical ruin. So rather than appeal to your emotions, which are easily triggered and can cause you to do things and buy things and say things you wouldn't otherwise have done or bought or said, this video is an attempt to get you to slow down and think. The attempt is to engage you with sound reason based on the principles of individual liberty and unbiased justice for all, which should be the acid test for the acceptance or rejection of any ideology. As Brand rightly stated, it is the lacrimose sentimentality trotted out on the TV for people to pour over emotional porn of which we will steer clear. It's clear that not everything Brand said was in opposition to individual liberties. The problem is the destructive mix of freedom and tyranny, which always leads to more oppressive government. And this is what we should all oppose. What we need to rally behind are the unmovable, well thought out, non-aggressive, non-coercive individual liberty and free market principles that will empower the people to advance beyond the ever strengthening totalitarian regime. This is how we educate the enslaved, and this is how we suppress tyranny. To dilute these concepts in any way is to empower the march of oppression against individuals who simply want to be free from the intervention of power-hungry, parasitic government thugs. First, here's what people are saying about the video. This was blanking impressive. Dead on the money here. He didn't miss a beat. Mr. Brand for U.S. President. Great words. Idle no more. Wow, I've never liked the guy, but I'd vote for him. Well blanking said, Russell. Nice job, Russell. Russell Brand is right. Wake up from this illusion. The accolades go on and on, but it's important to understand that you won't wake anyone up from an illusion by giving them a more covert sedative. And this is exactly what Brand accomplished during the interview. Only the undiluted medication of pure respect for the individual rights of all people will heal the sick patient. And I do mean undiluted. Just as a bottle of water with a tiny amount of poison mixed in will destroy, not revitalize life. So we will focus here only on that part of Brand's interview which identifies the status promoting, individual freedom destroying poison to which Brand subscribes and conveyed. So what does Brand promote that's so antithetical to true liberty? You talk vaguely about revolution. What is it? I think a socialist egalitarian system based on the massive redistribution of wealth, heavy taxation of corporations. Massive redistribution of wealth? Heavy taxation? Such a system, as Brand admits, is socialistic, which by its very nature extinguishes individual liberties. A massive redistribution of wealth and heavy taxation already take place under the current system. It's the main cause of the economic disparity Russell tried so hard to convincingly criticize. While egalitarianism promotes the decentralization of power, Russell calls for a centralized administrative system which is exactly what he claims to be against. When asked who would redistribute the wealth and levy those heavy taxes, Brand says, I think we do need to, like, there needs to be a centralized administrative system. Paxton replies, a government. There needs to be a government. Brand says, but built on. I, I, yes, there I, needs I, to be a government. Well, we might maybe call it something else. Call them like the admin bods, right. so they don't get. A, and how would they themselves. be chosen? Call them what you want, but sewage by any other name smells the same. And government by any other name is still a holding pen for the criminally insane, power-hungry psychopaths who want to steal your wealth, pad their pockets, and please their puppet masters. That's the system we currently have. That's the system that's for aggression, for theft. Four centralized power in the hands of a few. Four sanctions. Four military intervention. Four criminalizing natural rights. And for lucrative favors to special interest groups.
Brand further states... The very concept of profit should be hugely reduced. David Cameron says profit isn't a dirty word. I say profit is a filthy word because wherever there is profit, there is also deficit. And there, this system currently doesn't address these ideas. Those who say such things about profits are hypocrites since they themselves engage in profiting from the very system they are condemning. When a man works hard, conducts his business with honesty, and profits from the labor of his hands, it's reasonable to expect that such a man should receive and keep the reward for which he labored. And no one has the right to help themselves to this man's wealth and redistribute it to others who haven't worked for it. This, in and of itself, is antithetical to true freedom. In this interview, Russell Brand played right into the hands of the oligarchs he says he opposes by promoting the absolutely statist ideal which takes from some, gives a little to others, and keeps most for themselves. The goal here is not to tear down Russell Brand or any opponent of fundamental individual liberties. The goal is to implore such people to reconsider their position and modify their thought process. For a more complete explanation on the hardwired mentality of those in government, you can check out our videos, Nothing to Fear But Government Itself, and Presidential Psychopaths Feeding the Insanity. And Russell, if you're watching this video, we encourage you to think about your individual rights. Given that this existing narrow paradigm, as you put it, is so corrupt, do you want someone else or a group of people with shiny badges, whether by coercion or force, to take from you what you've worked so hard for? If the answer is no, then why would you want to see such actions forced upon others? It's either liberty or tyranny. There's no middle ground, there's no compromise. Compromise is the very reason we're in the situation we are right now. True liberty brings peace and real prosperity. Compromise and apathy brings tyranny and the temporary illusion of prosperity. It's either one or the other. Make your choice, but choose quickly. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to this channel, One Truth for Life, right here on YouTube. For updates and additional content, follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash one truth for life and on Twitter at one truth for life.